falls must be down here. The what? The Water falls? must be down here, because look. Here's the entrance to the marina. You can't hear it though. Look over there. Oh, a big dirty black cloud. It's saying there may be rain today. We have our umbrellas. We do. <laughs> I'm not too sure how well they will hold out. Empty streets. Looks like we are still on the Oli 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 Oi 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 trail. Even out here. What's Tim up to? Doing some exercise. They have heavily invested in exercise equipment all along this route. There is loads and loads of it. Some of it's all right, but from my recollection, quite a lot of it was pretty, pretty terrible from the stuff they have in the UK. But this stuff is all intact, which in the UK it's normally all smashed up and broken. It's all walking, working. Okay. Then you get a nice little view to work out. Got a great view for it though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So what does that remind you of, Sarah? Uh, a big version of Waterloo Bridge. Not really, very big version. Can you guess what game I'm thinking of when you look at these concrete barrier blocks? Um, hopefully you know it because I don't know the name, I can't figure it out. But it was a game, it's like these plastic shapes, they're like this big and you have a, like a rubber ball and then you throw the rubber ball up, you grab one of those shapes and then you catch the rubber ball in one hand. You do it again with two shapes and the rubber ball, three, so forth, so forth. and then it's about how many you can do in one go without dropping the ball and then you have to pass it on to someone else. Um, but yeah, what's the game called? Do you know what I'm talking about? If you do, in the comments, please. I used to love that game. The waves are strong. And look, Tim is staying far, far away from them. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the link at the top. So I am risking life and limb to bring you the tourist information that's situated along this rocky section of beach. You have to kind of uh, tiptoe your way out on try and not sprain an ankle. But I have managed to do it and I have learned something. And that is that these are volcanic lava flows that formed this island about 1.8 million years ago. 
and uh, sandwiched above that is a sedimentary layer called the Sogipo Formation and it's about 100 meters thick and it's, a, it's um, a site of scientific interest and it underlays the whole of the island as well but this is one of the few sections where it is exposed um, and it's the reason that there are the springs that produce the waterfall so the water can permeate down but it can't, can't uh, get past the volcanic layer and so it kind of gets pushed back up and uh, yeah, you get those beautiful waterfalls like we saw yesterday. So there we go, I'm going to try and make it back without twisting an ankle. Does it count if I do a rock, a rock tower here and make a wish? I think it does. There's lots of rock. Look, hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Brain freeze. Okay, we've got a mango smoothie and a hot dog, and it all came up to 18,000, which is about 10 pounds. So, yeah, UK prices, no budgets here. So, I am about to finish my New York hot dog coffee, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. And as I'm about to take the last bite, I turned around and I had a little look at the information, the information, the blurb on the back. And uh, yeah, let me have a little read. Love at first bite. I do like that. I like a hot dog. So yeah, nice positive start. Then are you worried about eating me? Well, I kind of am now and I've just eaten me. Um, take a bite. I'm 100% beef. Really? Really? Are you? I don't know. Everyone knows. That who knows what is in a hot dog? I'm not junk food, I'm real food. Just sounds like you're trying a bit of a hard sell here, but I've eaten you and I'm hoping I'm going to be okay. It was good, it was a nice hot dog. So Sarah is getting involved in what is, I don't know, a business corporate day. I don't know, they're celebrating something. Perhaps they were the boys that built the bridge. When it was built, I don't know, but where does it lead? It leads to three islands that are of immense natural beauty and uh, value. And again, part of the uh, bid for UNESCO World Heritage Site, no doubt. Apparently the water around here are pristine and the wildlife um, flourishes. And they are named Siopsom, Mumsom and Beyond some, so kind of like wanted posse of uh, the Korean islands. There you go. If you're a hip hop dancer or b boy from the early 2000s, you will know who wanted posse are. Um, so, yeah, what are we going to do, Sarah? I think we're going to cross the bridge, um, but it's starting to rain. I feel little drops. Okay, and you said it looks a bit like the Millennium Bridge. I did, and then you. No, you don't say what I said. <laughs> She's always stealing what I say. I say something and then she pretends she thinks of it. So I'm going to say Gunwharf Keys and Portsmouth. It looks like the sale they've got down there. Maybe they've uh, been knocking them out all around the world. And the story goes when we started dating, um, I think you went on a tour and he was going away for a long time and I was our last day together and I said let's do something he was like yeah I'll take you to Gunworth Keys and I thought oh romantic Some, somewhere on the coast and it was but it was a shopping mall a shopping down center. in Portsmouth grey as you get By complete coincidence, it looks like we have followed the pink trail all the way today. It's one of his 
brothers or sisters, isn't it? Yeah, and you've got all these waterfalls. Is that, a, is that, is that running? It looks running. Oh, it's the wind. your hat, it's windy. I see this logo everywhere. Is that the logo of the trail perhaps? Yeah. They've nicely boardwalked the route. There's some nice shading under that boardwalk. Under the boardwalk, up on the sun. There is the Olympic Stadium that was built. There we go. Perhaps an Olympic football stadium or a World Cup stadium. Ikea So this is Saison Island and it was really nice to walk around it's all boardwalks, pathways um, took about 20 minutes to go round, it's nice and breezy and on one side you see the marina and all the boats and on the other side you just see the sea. And that is a busy working port that they are in the process of expanding for sure oh. and the vegetation since we've got to South Korea is distinctly different from that in Southeast Asia and I presume that's because of the latitude change. It's, um, it's a pine forest here and it looks like uh, the plants have to deal with colder temperatures although the heat is here as well uh, but yeah it has a I guess it does feel a little bit more English in feel yeah. but then again you get a few tropical looking plants chucked in the mix as well but yeah it is different and I like it I'm liking the smell of pine and doesn't that look like Ikea behind us I want to do some flat packs Tim might be liking these pine trees, but I'm not too sure. With the breeze and the strong winds, they're dying off the trees and stabbing me like an arrow. Look! Ow! We have made it round the mini island that is Saison, one of a trio of brothers, I'm going to say. And I think it's well worth it. It's nicely shaded, it's um, boarded, and it's an easy walk. And you can do it in the heat of the day as well. And I reckon if this had been in um, Indonesia, Malaysia or Thailand, there would have been someone asking you for an entrance fee at the gate. So, yeah, fair play to Korea. They have been very, very reasonable in their tourist attractions. They're keen to share their culture and their heritage.
yeah it's great i've really enjoyed this and i was taking a risk there were no loos here it was clearly signposted but mission success back to the bridge The sun has just got intense. Whew. Yeah, but actually, thinking about it, we did stroll and it would probably take about 40 minutes to an hour. You could probably power walk it for 20 minutes, but yeah, yeah. our pace, more like 45 an hour. And you could sit and stop and relax yeah. and spend a few hours there, I reckon. There are lots of different spots to look out and uh, view the scenery from. Yeah, but oh, glad we've got these umbrellas. It literally goes from shade to really hot to shade. So we are deciding to grab a taxi and um, it's only 4,000, which is about two pounds because my feet are hurting. We are using the Cacao app and you don't need to be a registered resident. Um, you can just pay by cash, which we did on the way here. So yeah, it should be on its way and we're not grabbing a grab, but we're cacaoing a cacao. Mm. Hello. Hello. you decide to take a taxi when the taxi journey feels a bit long you know it'll be longer in the on walk on by foot um but it was only around about two pounds and i know korea can be quite expensive but actually that was quite reasonable in terms of taxi so i'm quite impressed with hyundai's as well that was my first time in one and it was pretty nice yeah that was good mm. fancy fancy Perfect time, we've just made it back about half an hour and now look, the heavens have opened. The rain is coming down with an absolute vengeance now. We were lucky not to get caught in that and it is like a cloud has just rolled down, a thunder rain cloud has rolled down off Mount Halasan and just engulfed Sogipo. Look, everything's disappeared. We're just like in a cloud now. I don't know what we're going to do to eat. We weren't going to walk out into the town, but maybe we'll have to see if we can order something. There's no restaurant here. Oh, Sarah don't care. <laughs>